What's going on guys, it's Greg here today and I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 commentary about the Victus XMR sniper rifle. Dang, be going over my recommended class setup. This is a new sniper rifle that came with Season 1. And I would highly recommend using this gun for ground war. As you can see right here, I pick up a nice little 446 meter snipe. This thing is an absolute monster downrange and it's a very consistent one shot as long as you're hitting center mass. Let's get right into it. Starting off with our Victus XMR class setup is going to be the Nilsound 90 Silencer, the 50 cal high velocity rounds, the Bruin G305 rear grip, FTAC Homeland stock, and the VLK 7 milliwatt laser. Coming to our first attachment here, we have the Nilsound 90 Silencer, and for my tuning on it, I'm going to go for the aim down sight speed as well as bullet velocity. These are two very important statistics whenever it comes to sniping because aim down sight speed is going to allow us to acquire targets much faster and bullet velocity is going to make sure that we don't have to lead our shot as much, therefore we'll be able to pick up easier kills at farther ranges. Next up we have a laser sight which is going to show where we are whenever we're ADS. We do have to be careful of that as enemies will be able to see our laser. However, we're going to gain aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and some sprint to fire speed, which allows us to be a little bit more aggressive with our sniping and much more accurate considering our idle sway will be much less. Next up is the high velocity ammo, and this is important again as we discussed because the bullet velocity stat is going to be maxed out considering we want to hit our shots with ease. And we're also going to improve the damage range because we do lose some damage range with this attachment, but it is very negligible at best. So we're just going to max it out so that way we don't really have to worry about it. Moving on to the Bruin G305 rear grip. This one is a very important rear grip because of its flinch resistance properties. If you stack this with the focus perk, you'll actually get even more flinch resistance, which pretty much makes this weapon feel like there's not a lot of flinch on it. So I'd highly recommend doing that if you don't mind running the focus perk, and as an added bonus you also get some hold breath duration. On top of that I maxed out my aiming idle stability and aim down sight speed in the tuning because I feel that those are the two most important statistics out of the other ones that are here. The only thing we're going to lose with this is some aim walking movement speed which in my opinion isn't really all that important with a sniper because we're going to be playing further back anyways. And finally we have the FTAC Homeland stock and this one is a very good stock because it's going to give us all that aiming stability we need. I'm going to max out the tune on aiming idle stability and I'm also going to make it so aim walking or aim down sight speed is maxed out as well. We're going to lose a little bit aim walking movement speed as well as some sprint speed but again it's a sniper we'll be playing back we're picking people off from a range and it's really not that important to have as much mobility when we could just move around with our sidearm. Moving into the firing range I just wanted to showcase the weapon real quick in case you guys want to see what it's like. So, as you guys can see here in the firing range, we go ahead and inspect it, and I'm also going to show you guys the idle sway as well as the recoil, just so that way you guys have an idea of how this thing feels. As you can see right here, the recoil is not too bad, and I don't really ever worry about recoil too much on a bolt-action rifle, because it's generally going to recenter while we're rechambering the bullet anyways. As you can see, the idle sway is pretty manageable, and if you want to hold your breath for longer shots, feel free. Moving on to our secondary and equipment, I want to go over the Basilisk, the Spotter Scope, and the Claymore. So, the reason I like these is because of a few things. So one, the Basilisk is just a great secondary, and again, I am going to bring this very soon to you guys because, as of right now, I think it's one of my favorite secondaries in the game. I'm not going to give any opinions on it in this video, but I just want to say that it is a very reliable secondary that I think you guys should try to level up and try to get that snake shot ammo. Anyways, as for our tactical equipment, we are running the spotter scope, and the reason I have the spotter scope on is because this is going to help us on some of those maps like Sarif Bay, Tarak, and just those really big ground war maps where there's a lot of angles you could be watching at all different times, and it might be hard for you guys to spot your enemies. You don't have to run a thermal if you have the spotter scope because it actually has some thermal properties to it. Whenever you use the spotter scope, you, if you hold it on an enemy, for a little bit, it will actually mark them and it will live ping them, allowing you to see what their actions are for a few seconds. I'd highly recommend running this if you're going to snipe, and I'd also highly recommend it if you want to mark some enemies that you might not be confident in killing. This is so that maybe another teammate will be able to take them out and they won't be killed by them. I also like having a claymore if you're going to be on a rooftop or something, I can watch a staircase for you. But I also, in this gameplay, you guys can see I had the thermite on, and this is because on a map like Tarak, 
there's not really a lot of areas where claymores and proximity mines are going to be useful, and I'd much rather have a thermite grenade because that way I can throw this at a vehicle and it will stick to the vehicle, lowering its health. Thermites are one of the best ways to destroy vehicles in ground war, so if you're not using them already, be sure to use them if you want to try to evade vehicles and take them out. As for a perk setup, I personally like to run Bomb Squad, Scavenger, Cold-Blooded, and Ghost, and this is more because of ground war. Now, you don't have to run Cold-Blooded if you don't want to, because in my opinion, there's not really a lot of kill streaks that get called in throughout a ground war match. The reason I use Cold-Blooded is just because I am generally trying to go on a longer streak and stay alive and rotate around the map, but it's really going to depend how you're going to play. Are you someone who's going to stay in an area where killstreaks really can't reach you, such as a building? Then you're completely wasting your time using this perk. I'd recommend something along the lines of Fast Hands or even Focus if you really want to run a good second perk for your sniper. Also, the Ghost perk is just really good because that way people on the UAV will not be able to spot you and you'll just have an easier time of staying alive and keeping your position secure. EOD is useful whenever you are trying to stay alive from people who are spamming equipment at you, so EOD is going to help reduce damage from any sort of explosives that are lobbed your way. It'll also help if anyone's trying to use the Joker in order to get you off a rooftop. Finally, we have Scavenger on. I, it's up to you if you want to run maybe a different secondary weapon. You can use Overkill, but personally for me, I like running Scavenger because I find that, well, I like to keep resupplied. And now while Scavenger is currently buggy and it sometimes doesn't drop ammo, in my opinion, it's still worth running because sometimes that extra scavenger pack you pick up might be the difference between life and death whenever you really need ammo most. And finally, I'm going to go over the field upgrades here, and I use Field Upgrade Pro with the motion sensor or portable radar, whatever it's called in this game, and the munitions box. And the reason I like these two is because of a few reasons. Munitions box is going to give us our equipment back, as well as it's going to give us some ammo, just in case scavenger isn't working for us. On top of that, the portable radar, or motion sensor, is a very great option, especially if you're trying to hold down an area, as you'll know if people are trying to push you out. Anyways, I want to go ahead and talk about now, as, as for some opinions on the Victus XMR, and whether I think it is worth your time. As we have talked about earlier in this video, it has some really good bullet velocity, some really good damage range, and overall I think it is a very good ground war sniper rifle. In my opinion, this might just be one of the best sniper rifles to use in ground war because it has a generous one-shot kill range down longer ranges. You guys saw earlier that I was able to hit somebody 446 meters away, and while that wasn't a one-shot kill as I did hit marker him, it would have been a one-shot to the head, and the bullet travel on this sniper rifle is pretty much near hit scan, at up to like 200 meters. You guys will see that I hit quite a few nice snipes, and overall, I think the best way to use this gun is to play positioning on the map and try to kill people who are on rooftops and take them out of power positions. If you use this sort of playstyle and you try to keep the enemies who are trying to play rooftops with ultimate height and using power positions to streak up, you'll be able to stop any enemies from collecting a lot of kill streaks on your team, and as a result, you'll have a much easier time for your other teammates to capture flags and do what they need to do. Anyways, I hope you give this Victus XMR class a shot, and let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. That's all I have for you guys today, and I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go out and have some fun on the game now. <laughs> As if this is a classroom where I got you pigeonholed, am I right? Nah. Anyways, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, drop a rating if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, have a great day.